morning guys, welcome to today's video. We've just left where we set up camp for last night and we're back on um, what is actually a cycling trail and it's right by a river which is quite amazing and we're probably going to be following this sort of path for the, most of the day. Potentially jump in there when it uh, heats up a little bit later on in the day which would be great. So guys, we're just riding along, we've done a Yui here on this bike track. So we've come across another Urbex, well, our first Urbex for France. When we were in Japan, we did quite a few of urban exploration of abandoned buildings and such. But there is a trail that runs through here, and out the back here there's like this abandoned ruins of a building. So we're gonna pop in there and show you guys. You can't really see from here. If we go over this side, you'll probably be able to see it a bit better. So you can see just the tip of it. There we go. It's just in and amongst there. I'm gonna go explore that. <laughs> reaction. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be itchy as after this. Well, I guess we could leave our bikes here and just hike in. Yeah, we've got parking right here anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna... Let's go. Let's throw our bikes here. First urbex in France. It's gonna be cool. Maybe it was like a train bridge or something. Oh, cool. interesting building. I really wonder what it was used for and what it was. Um, but like underneath where we are right here, it's raised off the ground and they've got like these things here to I don't know, make it a bit more safer, but it's like here. And then down in there it's just like flooded with water and rubbish and all that. Right here. Hello. All right, let's go. You gonna get us to the top? I don't know. Probably. Yeah. I think if we go this way. Oh. I think we can climb it up here, maybe. Uh, no. Not really. I wonder if we went through and over to that hole there. Maybe it's like a high vantage point. Okay, so. So CP just discovered this machine here in the in the scrub out the back here. Um, it looks like a crane, maybe. Is it? 
What in the heck? It's got like some mechanism on the back. The tires are still in Let's get up there. I think it's a crane. What's that? Some kind of crane? I don't know. Why is it just out here rotting though? 760R tires. Cody's getting on. Yeah, those look like some sort of uh, hydraulic hydraulic adjustments. Oh wow, something. it's old school. Can you get in the driver's seat? Yeah, probably. Yeah, can you get my camera? This is crazy. So this is the engine and the driver's seat in here. Oh, Cody's going in. You crazy man. He's go he's going in. Toot the horn. Oh my gosh. It doesn't work. <laughs> Cody's in. Where are we going to? <laughs> so the motor on this thing is a Bosch. Made in Germany. Uh, CP thinks it's like a six cylinder diesel. So I just brought these vegan classic ice creams. Um, CP's gonna try one. He's doing snack of the day. Do you like? I've never had vegan ice cream, I don't think. But have you tried Magnum? No. Oh, okay. You've had those before? Yeah. Really? Yeah, we have them in Australia. Oh. Is it good? I can't really tell the difference. Mm. We thought we'd just stop by this Catholic, I think it's a church or just like a cathedral or something, just truly remarkable. It's quite incredible to see in the detail of uh, how many sort of hours and people it would have taken to build such a remarkable structure. It's just incredible just to see like all of the, like the carvings and everything is just so detailed in such a large building that it just creates such a remarkable finished product. It does say 1644 on the door there, so that's probably around the time when it was constructed. I can hear a ticking, can you? Yeah. Yeah, so CP was saying that they built, what did they do? They built these around like a clock system or something? I or? think there's a clock in, the, in a tower somewhere. And it rings like every hour or something, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. So we've been riding along this cycle path for a bit now, just following this river into the next major town. Um, I think we're just going to jump in here and cool off for a bit because the water looks fairly nice. Now I ain't going to touch it, we're just going to jump straight in. It could be freezing. It could be. It could be beautiful. could also be beautiful, but we're going to find out. It's just a quick dip. Yeah, it says no doing strokes, we're not going to be doing strokes. I was lost. <laughs> so guys, that guy that I just met at that at front of that supermarket, he was 72 years old. 
That's remarkable. I hope that I be able to keep up his enthusiasm and fitness in the next 50 years. Oh, that would be phenomenal. So I really, I'm really um, motivated by seeing elderly people out there on their bicycles. The cool thing was he also had a brook saddle on his giant road bike. But anyway, um, CP left a bit early and um, I'm just kind of chasing him down in a way. Um, we're making our way to um, England. So we're catching the ferry. I don't know whether it'll be tonight or not, but he's feeling pretty good. So probably just gonna be making the most of the current fitness and just continue riding. been riding for quite a bit today a lot longer than what we've normally been doing on this tour cranked out the K's and we're not that far away from crossing the border into England so I think by probably tomorrow sometime we'll probably make it in to the motherland but for tonight right now we've got about another hour or so of sunlight we're gonna find a place to camp um, not a hundred percent sure on exactly where but I think we're getting close to the beach, so it might be a beach camp or something like that. We'll see. We'll see what's in store. This is where we're planning to camp at this footy oval, but there is a gate here that's locked. Maybe we could access from somewhere else. But we are just climbing out of the city, and there's just a beautiful view of the city behind us. Yeah, we've got heaps of options. You can pop over onto this like open field here. The gate there is opened for the field, so we're gonna go around. This is camp guys, it's gonna set up right here. The road's back over there, we're just sort of over the side here of this fence with the sun setting beautifully. Um, also, CP picked up a half of the... Well, you spotted it. <laughs> well, anyway, it's pretty cool. Because I um, really liked picking up just like a number plate for each state that I passed through when I was in Australia. But anyway, there's a France CP Euro plate, which is awesome. Cool little souvenir. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Also, chuck some comments down below and make sure you're subscribed as well to stay up to date for the rest of the adventure. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.